Okay, hi YouTube, time for episode number six. Okay. Um, since I'm just going to be installing some mods this time around, I think this one is going to be more of a watch stuff that I'm doing while I talk uh, sort of thing. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... The topic of today's discussion will be something that most of you are probably going to roll your eyes at. Um, but, well, the topic will be feeling. And I know that sounds really lame, but it's not really what I'm talking about. Like, it's not what I mean. This stuff. So, hang on one minute, I'm just gonna pause the recording for a brief moment of time, because I totally lost my train of thought and I'm probably gonna have to script some stuff. Alright, so, as I was saying, we're going to be talking about feelings. Specifically, depression. Because I feel like it's really something that a lot of people discount a lot of the time. <sighs> Most people who seem to be all jolly and all that, they aren't really. You know what, instead of just telling you other people's stories, I'm going to tell you mine. I might put an age limit on this, just because of some of the content, but, yeah. When I was in third grade, a new guy came to my school, and I used to go to a pretty small private school, so, you know, class of ten kids, grade of... 30 tops. So yeah, it was a pretty well, it was a pretty small grade and so This new guy comes to the school and you know 
I, he has a bunch of similar interests to mine, video games, that stuff, you know? But, the problem is, that was back before, well, It was back before I actually um, Look, let me just put it this way. It was back when I was young and immature and had terrible judgment. I mean, I'm still, relatively speaking, young and my frontal lobe is still developing, but I'm significantly more mature and I've learned how to make better decisions. Back then, I was a lot more foolish. Back then, I decided that it would be a good idea to make friends with this new guy. So, you know, I did my best and we ended up becoming friends. Sort of. I did my part. At the beginning of the second semester, I don't know if it was that I started seeing things as they really were, or if really it was that he had changed. I think... I think mostly it was the fact that I changed the way I was looking at things over winter break. But he also stopped hiding who he was. For the next year and a half of my life, well, actually longer, almost two years, he gave me hell. I'd get beat up pretty much every single day at school.
and uh, well Okay, that's going to be a bit of a problem right there. Sorry for the break in the commentary. Meh. Light loader's bust, which means mini maps a bust. So yeah. It took a lot of things for him to get expelled from the school. So, yeah. Hang on, I'm going to have to mute the recording for a bit there, because featuring another video on mine is evil. Sorry about that, I had to mute that bit. So, anyway. <sighs> well, wait, no, I just realized I only... This is the problem with saying what you're going to do before you do it. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to want to install this. Um, anyway, so yeah, once the guy finally did get expelled, well, I started self-harming in fourth grade. 
didn't tell... I felt like I couldn't let anyone know that I was so depressed. And so things started going downhill. All that pent-up grief and sadness and self-loathing. It isn't a good space to be in, I can tell you that. But... I managed to It was a few years before I finally started breaking out of it. But the thing is, Well, the thing is, I I started basically trying to put my past behind me. And so, yeah, I was basically stuck in a really dark space for a while. When I finally did 
manage to break out of the depression and self-harming. It was... It was hard, but it was because... I I'd been pushing all of my past all of my emotions and past just away and why is that open In the... Well, in the time since... Well, in the time since that dark depression, I feel like I've sort of you know, learned how to be myself again. I mean, I actually still wasn't out of it when I was making my first set of videos, which is, well, well, that's the other reason why they're all so monotone and bland and terrible. See, the thing that most people don't get about depression is it's not that you're constantly feeling all sad. It's that you're not feeling, and when you do, it's so incredibly, well, I feel like, really, the only reason I ever actually learned that I still had emotions... Well, I mean, the thing is, here, here's what helped me. What helped me was my friends being there for me. No matter how I messed up or how bad I felt about myself, that's what helped me go on. Whenever I was on the brink of attempting suicide, and I was several times, the things that stopped me, in the end, were, you know, asking myself, how would the, how would my friends feel about this? What, what would happen to them? I'd be destroying their lives by taking my own. So, what good reason do I have? And, I mean, if they haven't been that supportive, I wouldn't have been able to feel that, you know? I would have just felt like no one cared, which I did a lot of the time, but 
I would have actually believed it beyond an emotional level. And, And, uh, yeah, that's really what, you know, that, that really was the only thing that let me keep going. God. But yeah, that's... That's what helped me hang in there. And, I mean, as... Well, as cheesy, really, as it sounds, it's honestly true. So yeah, that's my somewhat depressing uh, emotional, I guess that technically qualified as a bit of a lecture. <laughs> uh, no, I can't force myself to laugh here. Need to just let myself breathe here. Anything else I'm missing? Nope. Hopefully all of these mods will run. If I only end up with five running, that's just fine. It's not preferable, but it's fine. I mean, just having... yep.
and I died how exactly? Whatever. Yep, definitely some... Oh, what the f fudge cake. So that's how I died. Also, it looks like... No idea what that does. Don't want to know. Okay, I'm just going to put myself in creative here. Freaking creepers, I tell ya. At least the door's intact. At least there's freaking that. That is very annoying, though. And for those of you who are wondering, no, I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay, so maybe I am, but it's none of your business. Right with the world. Oh right, cause the land, so when I paused it didn't actually... Pause, oh. Hang on. <sighs> oh, I'm in adventure mode, that's what it is.
Alright, there we go. And, uh, actually, you know what, since I've turned on, uh, well, since I've set the game to, uh, keep my inventory when I die, there, world difficulty locked. So, here I am. Alright, signing off.